Hey everyone, I'm Michelle from Nannies on Call and today I just wanted to maybe share a little video that I took about six months ago. Um, it's really hard for me to watch and I wasn't really sure if I was going to post it, but after some thinking and watching it emotionally, I've decided I am going to post it and I'm going to post it after I give the short intro. It is right at the beginning of COVID, so truly almost six months ago that I created the video or I filmed the video I um, yeah I was very emotional at the time I'm still very emotional obviously with COVID but I think there's a lot of small business owners that can relate maybe some people who can understand what we were going through and maybe um, feel aligned with us uh, I also think we're in a unique position that we're a fully woman-owned company um, owned and operated so everyone who works in the office currently is female and has partners and family and kids and so we also offer a unique perspective of working through this while helping families and nannies uh, work through COVID and the difficulties around it so um, I'll let you watch the video now and then I'll come back and kind of explain where we're at and what's been happening since Enjoy. Hey everyone, it's Michelle from Nannies on Call. I kind of had this realization when I was on this hike that since we're in such an unprecedented time, maybe I should document some of what we're going through, how businesses did, what happened to staff. Um, today is March 20th, so it's been officially seven or eight days since everything hit the fan. Um, uh, last Thursday, uh, Nannies on Call saw a dramatic drop in bookings, lots of people panicking, calling to cancel, totally understandable, uh, totally can calling to cancel their um, on-call bookings. And then it just continued on into Friday. We made the decision as a company to lay off three people at that time. Those were people who were in accessory roles or help like assistants and people who had duplicate jobs. So those people went on Friday. Monday, we had an office meeting, letting everyone know where we were at and giving everyone updates. And then by Thursday, uh, which was yesterday, <laughs> the, um, everything hit the fan even further and we decided we need to close our on-call on department so that's 50% of our business we still have left the uh, placement department open so of course if you close an entire um, if you close an entire department then that means you have to get rid of those people so another uh, three people were let go to today um, we're lucky in some respects that one of our staff was going on maternity leave as of the end of the month anyway. So she has the year to get back to us and we're hoping to still be in it here in a year. So we're down to four core staff, Lisa, Kate, Sylvana, and myself. Uh, all three of those staff have been with me 10 years and I wouldn't be here without them. So I plan to do absolutely everything I can um, that with the four of us to make sure we're, we survive and make it to the next stage of this and that I can then bring all the staff I laid back uh, laid off back to Nanny's on call. Um, that is the plan right now. I have been through every emotion. I look fantastic as you can see. Um, I am exhausted. Uh, I haven't slept more than a few hours each night. I've been up working at 3 a.m every day and I don't stop. I stop for an hour to go for a hike which is where I am right now in beautiful British Columbia. So this is the only time I feel normal, not sick, not with a pit in the bottom of my stomach. I'm worried for the staff who've been laid off. I'm worried for the nannies who don't have any work. I'm worried for all the families. Um, uh, so and just how the economy is gonna take a hit on this one and how we're all going to make it through. So I have been worried, upset, I've cried, I've felt like it was going to be okay. I've had, had moments of hope where I was very hopeful that this was all going to turn out okay. And then I've had moments where I thought I was, gonna, was not going to make it till tomorrow. Uh, right now it's just day by day and things are changing. So I just want to document it. I don't know if I'm ever going to post this or what I'm going to do, but I thought it was important to start tracking what's going on in the world and how businesses and business owners and employees and everyone is struggling 
and um, that everyone has been super supportive, super kind. I haven't had a single problem with anyone, any staff, any nannies, any clients. They've all been super supportive. So I am super thankful for that. And hopefully we can come back and serve the community again and and um, have everyone back working and, and thriving and producing. So that's all I have for today, but I will try and keep filming these videos and then decide if I'm going to ever post them on the page but I thought at the very least I should um, document what's going on and and um, for the future so that people understand and for myself so in a year I can see how far we've come okay uh, that's all for today but I'll try and record uh, again in the future I'm gonna take this weekend uh, for some mental health time I'm not gonna open my computer I'm going to um, our office is closed for the first time in maybe 15 years on the weekend. So I'm going to take that time and Lisa, Kate, Sylvana and myself will all um, meet again on Monday and come up with a plan. Uh, I hope everyone's doing well and I will see you soon. Wow, that is difficult for me to watch and uncomfortable and it still makes me tear up when I watch it. I can't believe I actually made it through the whole thing and watched myself on camera because it's painful. Um, I do think Brene Brown would be very proud of me. Uh, if you don't know who she is, Google her. She's an amazing author and speaker on vulnerability. Anyway, that's what it felt like. That's about as vulnerable as I've ever been on camera and in front of um, lots of people, like posting it on YouTube. Anyway, uh, how to follow that up? Uh, just a short update on how we're doing as a small business. So Sylvana, Lisa, Kate, and I uh, operated the business ourselves for a couple of months. Um, we, the girls, everyone, Lisa, Kate, and Sylvana worked super hard doing absolutely anything they needed to do to make sure the company survived and that we were still here to fight another day and service clients. We spent months talking to clients for free, trying to help them with any issue that they had with their nannies, layoffs, um, applying for government assistance, anything we could do to help them. And now we are um, back up. We've hired a couple more of the staff back. So Melanie and Sasha are back helping out, which is fantastic. So we have a couple additional staff. Uh, that's great. Uh, our on-call department is open again. So we are doing on-call bookings, although uh, we are down significantly. Placements, we are doing our best. We're having to learn new terms like pods and private educators, learn about new types of nannies, new types of services that families may need. So that's what we're doing to try and survive. Uh, I did not record a video every week. I do not know what happened to the last six months. I can't even believe it's been six months and I know a lot of people feel the same way. Yeah, so we're surviving. It's been six months. I'm super interested to see where we are in a year. What happens over the winter? It's uh, end of September now, September 23rd. So I, we are still taking it a day at a time. <clears throat> We've knocked our daily meetings back to twice weekly because it is so busy. Everyone is working round the clock to help as many people as possible. And that's what we'll continue to do. So hopefully, um, yeah, you appreciate the service if you use it. If you're a small business business owner, I understand and and um, reach out. Uh, I'd love to talk to other people, hear your stories of what's been going on for the last six months and see what your plans are for the future. But I will try and do update videos maybe on how the company's doing and how what changes we're making and staff we're bringing back uh, in the future. We'll see, who knows, maybe it'll be another six months and I won't believe what happened. But um, for now, Thank you to everyone who supported us. Thank you to all the amazing nannies who've been working so hard through COVID and really often get very little appreciation for the fact that they worked straight through and helped families. Thank you to the families who are understanding with us with our shorter hours and our closed on weekends. And of course, thank you to all the nannies on call staff, those who still work for us and are working incredibly long hours to help everyone they can. And of course, also to those who um, unfortunately were laid off and we couldn't um, help and weren't able to keep on. 
Anyway, I think that's it for now. That's a really long rambling video, but hopefully you enjoyed it. And um, I'd love to hear from you if, if you have any comments. Thanks and stay safe.